Hello my friends, Lucy here. Welcome to Tuesday in Lucy's Kitchen. Are you ready for another great recipe? Well, today I have already three recipes for you. I'm gonna use only three ingredients for each cookie dough. They are super easy and affordable. Let's get started. First, we are gonna bake almond cookies. That's right, main ingredient are two cups of almond meal. Quarter cup of coconut sugar. And quarter cup of melted coconut oil. A room temperature, don't use it hot. And if it's necessary, add two to three tablespoons of water. You can also use a pinch of salt, which is approximately one eighth of teaspoon. I don't like it in these cookies, so I don't use it. Mix it all together. When the dough has kind of squishy texture, it's holding together while squishing it between your fingers, but not sticking, then it's ready. Take a baking tray lined up with a baking sheet or paper. Then roll balls using one size of spoon as a measurement so the cookies bake evenly. I find tablespoon size of cookies are perfect for us and we get about 18 of cookies from this batch. Just slightly flatten them with your fingers or use a fork. And this is just something special. I'm using chocolate chips, shredded coconut and pistachios, as I didn't have almond nuts, and gently press it on top of the cookies, so they will hold on them. It's just a decoration for a better presentation, but you don't need to do it. You can just keep your cookies plain. Bake them in a preheated oven on 175 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes until getting golden. In the middle of baking, turn the sheet around for even baking. Done! Let them cool completely on a wire rack before storing them in an airtight container or eating them. Aren't they beautiful? I can't wait to make my coffee in the morning and give it a try. boy had to taste them right away and approved, yay! Alright, 
right, let's bake our second type of cookies, which are banana oats cookies. The first ingredient we are using are chia seeds instead of an egg. Great supplement for people with an egg allergy. On one tablespoon of seeds come two tablespoons of water. Today I have two types of chia seeds, one teaspoon of black and one teaspoon of white ones. And then double the amount of water for each teaspoon. Give a little stir and let sit aside for a few minutes until the seeds soak up all the water. Let's continue with the next two ingredients, which are one cup of rolled oats and one mashed banana. Wanna be free of this heart. Feel your arms around me. I need you more. For an extra flavor, I use a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, but that's optional. Let's forget about tomorrow. To this bowl, add the black chia seeds and mix all well together. Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time? I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break, you never lie. Then I take another bowl and this time I use one cup of quick oats. I'm so afraid to be one mashed banana. I think about you a lot. And the white chia seeds. And also I had mixed uh, into the better the other half teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay, it's just a phase. And a special treat, I'm adding a quarter cup of dark mini chocolate chips. Because my family loves chocolate, but again, it's optional. Can't stop, yeah, yeah, I always knew that this would... Take a pan, line up with a baking sheet or paper, roll tablespoon size of balls and slightly flatten. Need you here. More than I would like to admit Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot But if you have only one type of oats and chia seeds Then the recipe is calling for two cups of oats two mashed bananas and one tablespoon of chia seeds with two tablespoons of water or one beaten egg instead of the chia seeds. Also optional but not mandatory is one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then you can add some chocolate chips, dried fruit or nuts or nothing. You can get creative here. Bake them on 175 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes until the sides will get slightly golden. They should still be a little bit squishy though. They look really delicious. What do you think? Yummy! I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile Do you know... Alright, and our last recipe are peanut butter cookies. Our three ingredients are one egg of a room temperature and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Beat it a little bit before adding a quarter cup of coconut sugar or if you don't like coconut sugar then you can add quarter cup of uh, brown sugar. You can see the difference mainly in the color. The one with coconut sugar is a little bit darker than the one with brown sugar. 
and my family likes more the coconut sugar but it's totally up to you what your family prefers and half cup of peanut butter I'm using crunchy peanut butter which is without salt and sugar and I like the extra texture of nuts in my cookies but you can use smooth one if you prefer that one mix it all well together I love you I put your favorite song on just to wake you up when I dance around I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here together if your cookie dough is still a little bit sticky then use more sugar or like me while rolling the balls take a little bit of water wet your hands and then you can roll the dough without sticking it to your hands repeat during rolling if necessary Forever. I'm loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here Again, slightly flattened them before putting it in a preheated oven, 275 degrees Celsius, and baking them for about 10 minutes. When they are done, you can see that they are not that shiny anymore, and they get a little bit more flattened, and also have got a little bit harder. This moment can always stay here forever. Yummy! My treats to my coffee are done! Hope you like this video and maybe even try some of these cookie recipes. All recipes in the detail gonna be available on my Instagram account Lucy underscore Meyer underscore. So make sure to follow me over there as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go and left a comment down below which recipe is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye. You give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this. Can't resist to be a little risky and go. For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign